Finding a rule given a table of values. So unlike the last video, we had the rule and then we found the table of values. This time we're going in reverse where we have a table of values and we're trying to find the rule. So let's have a look at a table of values. So here we know the values of x are going to be minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. And the y values, minus 1, 1, 3, 5, and 7. So we know we want to find the rule. It's going to look something like this. y equals some number m multiplied by x plus another number c. And we want to find what the value of m is and what the value of c is in the rule. So a good way to write it is to do a box. So y equals a box, x, and another box. Because the plus could be a minus as well. So that's why I didn't put a plus. So to do it, the first thing, to know what the this number here on the end is, we have to look where x equals 0. x equals 0 is here. And whatever the y value is, where x equals 0 is the number that needs to go over here. So in this case, when x equals 0, y equals positive 3. So I specifically said positive because we need to do the sign in there. So we get our plus 3. And the number that needs to go in here, we can get from looking at the pattern for y. So what's happening to y? Minus 1, 1, 3, 5, 7. Well, it's going up by 2. By positive 2 we're plusing 2 every time and that's exactly what needs to go in the box before x a so positive 2 you don't have to write the positive because it's first and that becomes our rule y equals 2x plus 3 you could even test it out with one of the values let's test it out with this one over here doesn't work out so what value of y do we get when x equals 2? Well, it would be 2 times x, which we want to try out 2. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3, and 4 plus 3 is 7, and that's exactly what we were expecting, so our rule looks pretty good. Let's give it another go. Let's look at another table of values. for x and y. Minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. And we've got values this time of 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. Remember, we know we want y equals something times x plus or minus something else. So to get that last one, we have to look where x equals 0. x equals 0 over here. And whatever the value for y is, in this case it's minus 1, that's exactly what needs to go over there. So we can write in minus 1. To get this value, we're looking at the pattern for y. What's happening to y? We've got 1, then 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Well, what's happening to y is we're subtracting 1 each time, so we're minusing 1. That's exactly what needs to go in the box in front of the x. Now if it's minus 1 or 1, you don't have to write the 1, but we do have to write the negative, because minus x means minus 1x. So we get our final rule that y equals minus x minus 1. You can even test it out for, let's say, this point over here. So minus x, well, x is 2, so it's minus 2, minus 1, minus 2 minusing another one gives us minus 3. That's exactly what we're expecting. Let's look at another one. Another table of values. So 
two, three, four, five, seven, nine. So remember, we need y equals something x plus or minus something else. And this one is wherever x equals zero, we get the y value, but we have a bit of a problem. We can't see what x is zero, what the y value is, because it doesn't go that far. But that's okay, because we can just keep the pattern going ourselves. So if x is going up by one this way, x would have to be going down by one this way. So let's keep it going. So we go, we need zero, so we only have to go that far. And what's happening to y? Well, y is going up by two this way and down by two this way. So we subtract two to give us three, subtract another two to give us one. And now we can see what the value of y is when x equals zero, it's positive one. So we write plus one. We've already talked about what's happening to y as we go this way, it's going up by two. And that's what needs to go in before the x. Because it's at the front, we don't have to write the positive. So we get two. And that's our final rule, y equals 2x plus 1. Let's try it out with this point here. So what's y when x equals 4? So it's 2 times x, but we're checking 4. 2 times 4 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, and that's what we were expecting, so the rule looks pretty good there. Mm -hmm.